my style has evolved over the years, but it has always been abstract. From my first term at the Slade School of Art, and it's geometric and it's increasingly about structure. You use any material because of the quality of the material. I mean, that, that's the only reason for using it. And you think differently with each material. So if you're etching, you're etching, you're using metal and acid. But watercolour, you've got, it's like driving without brakes. You, you, it is very direct and it has a wonderful transparent quality. And can't be aped in any other way. It's unique. have an enormously wide colour palette, uh, although of course they don't always appear in each work. Within the paintings it's probably the whole spectrum, but uh, I'm, I'm very particular that I use good colours uh, and I don't use dye colours, but I, I do use, I use the whole range, yes, use the whole range of colours. And it's very important to use different pigments because they have different qualities. Of them. Some are opaque and some are transparent and I use those qualities in the making of the, I'm very much aware of the qualities in the making of the work. A lot of the, a lot of the reds and brown matters, oranges, cadmiums, and some of the, and the quinacridone range, it's very interesting to to combine the two, the conventional pigments like cadmiums with a quinacridone colour and the same with the blues and the phthalo colours. The, I suppose they're the newer pigments combined with the old, if you glaze a cobalt blue with a phthalo blue, something magic happens. I came up with some very interesting results with the pens. Um, using different colours and then putting a wash over the top and then putting a wash of, of watercolour on top of that. And I have results I couldn't get in any other way. And what is interesting about the pens is that you can, you can do things that I, I don't know how I would replicate in another way. I mean, they have their own quality and I have to find out how I will use that. My studio is full of it's full of materials which can sit around for weeks and then I'll find out how to use them. I use both round brushes and, and flat brushes and I must say it's the first time I've used one of these ergonomic handle ones which are absolutely astonishing. I looked at it and thought, you know, what for? But it, is, it just falls in the hand, it's wonderful, yes. And there is no question, and this is not advertising for you, but there is no question that your sable brushes are astonishing quality. Just because something's sable doesn't mean to say that it's good. And there is a great difference. Mm -hmm.